Hey guys, welcome to Red's Corner, my little corner of the internet, where today I'm gonna be reviewing the Owlcrate subscription box. Um, so for those of you that don't know, Owlcrate is a, excuse me, um, is a book monthly subscription. So in each box they have a, well, so they have several different subscriptions. So they have an adult book only, a, I think they have a young adult book only, maybe, and they have their kind of normal crate, which is the young adult with goodies. So um, this is the young adult with goodies. Um, I picked this crate because they have been kind of, I've, I've opened a few of them in the past. Um, they're known to do kind of custom book covers and dust jackets. Um, they have these pins and just a bunch of really cool goodies for any reader that's in your life. Um, so with that, we'll go ahead and open this. Um, I am actually not 100% sure which month this one is. So here you go. You can see hashtag Owlcrate. It's got the little owl feet going around at Owlcrate. And then I think in the back, it just shows, you know, kind of the logo. Um, I have an Instagram, Facebook. This is Goodreads and then YouTube. So we'll go ahead and open this. Like I said, I'm not actually sure what month this is for because when i signed up for the subscription box i wanted to sign up for the january one and then i thought it would be kind of cool to have kind of um each like kind of a year of owl crate basically so that we can kind of see what they do throughout the year um but i don't know if I, that means if when i subscribe to it if i um subscribe if they had already closed for December. So it's possible this is the December box. In which case, if it is, then we'll just make sure, um, then I guess we'll get a year plus one day, uh, one day, one month. Um, so I guess 13 months of Alcrate then. Um, so we'll go ahead and open this. I, I'm completely blind on this one. I think I saw what the January theme was, but I don't remember it off the top of my head. But let's go ahead and open it up. So when you first open up the box, you have, um, this is the spoiler cards, I think. Yes, it is the spoiler cards. So as I'm kind of going through and looking at the products, I'll make sure to read out loud. This doesn't have pictures. So if you want to read it, pause it. There you go. Um, pause the video, take a picture. Um, so this, oh, so it is the December box, which kind of makes sense because I got this um, right after Christmas. So um, yeah, so um, y'all will probably see this mid-January. That's just to, for those, for people that might be subscribed to Alcrate, that'll give them a chance to open up the boxes and kind of have that magic of opening it without spoilers. Um, so yeah, so this month is theme is the Dark Devourers. So it comes with these like kind of little wiggly worms. So we're going to go ahead and kind of take those out, take out as much as we can. Um, my cat will probably play with those later. And without the wiggly worms, here's the box. So let's see here. This one is Treasured Tomes, a limited edition pin collection, the fourth wing. So this is actually interesting. So this year, I think I originally subscribed to this in like June or July, so I didn't get the full year of pins. But this year, they have a kind of treasured tomes pin collection. Um, actually, that's quite interesting. Fourth Wing, I, I have that book. Uh, I borrowed that book from the library the other day, and I'm still, I haven't started it yet, so hopefully there's no spoilers for that. But we'll go ahead and open it first. And here we go. So the pin is quite large. It has two backs. Um, it's based on the book Fourth Wing by Rebecca Yaros. Um, so here we go. Ooh, how to survive Basgeth War College. Ooh, that's actually really cool. Um, so these actually open. Sorry for the noises. That's my cat being a cat, I guess. Um, so this year they've been doing these really cool book pins, um, but they actually open. So, and um, I don't always know what the books are. Uh, like, I'm not always familiar with the books that they choose, but they usually are picking like top um, YA bestsellers. So here's the quadrants for those of you that are familiar with this book. 
And then I think it has some notes. Don't do anything to draw attention to yourself. Power on, quickly turn and, con and control you. Winning the war games isn't about strength. It's about cunning, I think is what it says. So that's really cool. Um, so yeah, I do have a few of these already in my collection. Um, but let's go ahead and read the little spoiler thing. Um, da, 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 da. Ah, we've, uh, this month's features the 12th treasured tomes enamel pin in our 2023 pin collection. Each month's box has included a book styled pin featuring in universe references to many beloved books and fandoms, all designed by at no one designs ride your dragon into the world of fourth wing. So that's really cool. Um, let's go ahead and open this next one. Ooh, Ooh, so this one is a dark chocolate hot cocoa, which is perfect for a December box. Um, there is the nutrition facts, if y'all want, and the ingredients add more or less to suit taste. So I like, I love the packaging. It's so cute. And they have like the little owl on it, night owl, dark chocolate hot cocoa. So let's see here. Um, da, 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 da. um uh, oh, here we go. Cozy up for the winter season with the most comforting night owl hot cocoa. Perfect for nocturnal hours that stay up reading through the night. This is ideal for the holiday season. This delicious blend is created by Moonstruck Chocolate. So that is the brand. So one of the things that I love about Owl, Owl Crate actually is that they partner with a lot of smaller shops um, that do kind of bookish things. Um, some of my you know, favorite, and they always credit the shop that they get stuff from. So they'll usually do exclusives with that shop. So even if you were to go to the shop, you wouldn't be able to find some of the items. Um, oops. But um, yeah, so it's just a really cool way to find out about different, um, different stores that might be doing some cool things. So there you go. There's that next one. Ooh. Oh, I think I know what this is. I think. Ah, yes. So this seems to be the pin banner, although it seems to have come off of the little dowel right here. Um, here we go. So let me see if I can lean back. So this is a pin banner. So like I said, they've been doing all the pins. Um, that are all the books in the series. So this is a way that you can display them. And then it has like a little thread right here uh, so that you can hang it. Um, woo whoops, sorry about that y'all. Uh, took a little tumble there. Um, you've all been asking for it and here it is. For your 2023 Owl Crate pin collection, we've included a Treasured Tomes pin banner. We've created a banner that is made to appear like a bookshelf to hold the beautiful bookish pins from our past boxes this year. This pan banner was wonderfully made by No One Designs. So the same person that made the pins actually made the pin banner, which is really cool. So we'll set that aside. Um, ooh, what's this? Wicked pen set. Interesting. Love is the most powerful magic. Exclusive pen set inspired by Kingdom of the Wicked blissfully bookish so we'll go ahead and open it i do love a really good pen um and then this one says it's a set so i wonder how many pens there are Oops. i am just destroying the box so just kind of a heads up there oh whoa those are beautiful um i'm not familiar with the book series but just look at these so one is purple and one is black and it has well i'll show one showcase one at a time so this is the purple one um it has like this kind of gold ish um pattern on it with like swords and plants and crowns so memories like hearts can be stolen interesting and that is the pen mechanism um the pen mechanism <laughs> that's the it's just kind of your typical cat pen. Um, I wonder if I have any paper on my side. Um, this is kind of like a sticker. It's the back of like a shipping label, but we're gonna see if, how well this pen works. Um, let me see if I can do this so that the camera can see. Oh, wow, this actually works really nice. So, hello. 
sorry, I'm looking at this through a camera, so it's a little bit hard. But this actually writes really well, and it's a black ink. Um, I wonder if the other pen is also black ink. Um, I'm gonna put that in my pen holder. Um, so this one says, one day you'll call me death, for now wrath will do. That's actually a really cool comeback. So it looks like it has the same kind of design, um, but this one is in black. Um, we'll go ahead and test this pen out as well. Uh, maybe it'd be a different color, but it would be kind of weird if the outside was black and then the pen was a different color. Um, it doesn't look like it's a different color, but it writes just as well. So that's actually really cool. Um, it's a very useful gift. Um, just, I mean, pens are always great. I plan on probably taking those to work and having like just really cool pen sets, a pen set in there. So, ah, here is another thing that they've been doing. Um, it is kind of a journal actually. So this one, The World Remade, and it's kind of a lavender, and then the foiling is this kind of dark, dark purple, bluish thing going. Uh, the World Remade, and then Once Upon a Time, An Angel and a Devil Fell in Love. It did not end well. That makes sense. Um, <laughs> But um, again, I'm not super familiar with what book this series is from. That's kind of the only drawback is um, I tend to not read um, kind of the most popular, I guess, up and coming books. Um, so I'm not always in the know of all the fandoms that Alcrate picks. But even if you don't get the reference, um, I mean, I still love um, quality of the goodies. So let's go ahead and read this one. Um, our faux book journal is the final one, final in one of our 2023 collections featuring in-universe references. Each journal will be sure to transport you to a different literary universe. This month's journal pays homage to Daughter of Smoke and Bone and has been designed with love by Lichen and Limestone. So that's really cool. So I'm going to go ahead and open this. And show y'all so the it's kind of a faux leather if you will and then it's actually kind of a little bit squishy i don't know if you can tell that, that's probably the best angle to see it's a little bit squishy and soft um so it's just kind of your tip oh this one's actually gridded i think the past ones they've had line but this one actually has grid um so that is nice it does have include a bookmark and i think if you wanted to, you can take the journal out and put the cover on something else if you'd like. Um, it looks kind of hard to take out, so I'm not going to on this. And finally, we have the book reveal, To Kill a Shadow. Um, so they've always, they I've kind of noticed this this year, they always come kind of shrink wrapped, which is good. Never lower your eyes in the face of death. So I fell in love with Alcrate because of their book journals. Um, they do have, hold on a moment. There's one last thing in here. Well, there's two things, but um, so this is the Young Adult December, The Dark Devours. So this is just kind of a pamphlet. It includes an interview with the author. This is what I love to look at. So this here is the regular design of the book cover. So if you were to go to Barnes and Nobles or Half Price or something, and buy this book, this is the cover you get. But this is the exclusive Alcrate cover. And whenever I take the comparison, I always love the Alcrate cover better than the original one. Um, so that's always really nice. Um, it also has a little bit of interv an interview with the vendor, news from the nest, um, a little crate challenge, and um, a Spotify app or... Uh, Spotify. I guess you can use Spotify to do that. Um, and then some other books that are coming out this month. Um, so this is a cool little pamphlet to hold on to. One thing I do want to show you guys is, give me a second and just, uh, let me open the book here real quick. Um, so one thing that I think I'll create kind of did to separate themselves from kind of other book subscriptions is they had a handwritten 
letter from the author that was included. And um, back when I was in college, which was when I first found out about this, um, they would include kind of like, it looked like a, a bit of a, it was kind of an insert. It was an, on an art print, right? And there was a handwritten letter in the back. But now they've moved to actually including it with the story. It's with the, like bound in the book itself. Oh no, hold on, let me find it. It's usually in here. Um, unless they, for some reason, decided not to do that for this book. Um, I could have sworn that there was a letter. Unless... Oh, here it is. Sorry. I just skipped it accidentally. So, now it's included in the binding and it comes signed. So, that is really cool. I'll give you guys pause if you want to read that. Um... I'm gonna go ahead and read the kind of synopsis here. Um, Defy the night, Jude Maddox knows nothing of love or even light. He knows only his grim duty as the hand of death to lead the knights of the eternal star into a land filled with nightmares and certain demise. It's only when he sees her, a young woman with wild amber eyes who is as fierce, defiant, and swift as the shadows, shadow beasts themselves that he feels the warmth of life in his blood. The other knights may fear that their lethal commander with his hard, merciless demeanor. Outcast Kiara Frey sees only a leader, a man who knows how to survive. Someone like her, but wanting him is as treacherous as the shadows themselves and just as seductive. With a kingdom on the verge of collapse, the knights must now venture into the darkest heart of the land and uncover the secret of the misted shadows, where evil will prey upon their minds and feast on their flesh. It will betray their secrets. It will surprise, surpass their nightmares. Most of them will die, but they have no other choice because the only way to fight the darkness is to become it. Um, this is another thing that Alcrate does. So they have the book jacket, which is custom, but they also have these book end pages. Actually, I'll go ahead and um, read um, the little blurb on here. Um, and since we have everything, I will go ahead and do that. To our, our last book for 2023 is our December book pick in which darkness takes over. In To Kill a Shadow, we meet Jude and Kiara, commander and knight who travels to the darkest part of the land to save their kingdom, where they face nightmares beyond imagination. This signed edition features a gorgeous redesigned cover by Lynn Nogian. I'm probably butchering her name, but, um, and that's her social at Pyrex with stunning blue sprayed edges turn over the cover for the reversible jacket with gorgeous artwork by at pan jewel art on the hardback we have some striking foil designs done by at neil grant inside you'll find gorgeous end pages done by jennifer pujarit pawn finally an author letter from katherine quinn and bonus content is bound in the book just for our subscribers happy reading and thanks for being awesome team outgrade so, like it said, it has the gorgeous dust jacket. Um, these are the end pages. And as you can see, it is lined with kind of a bluish purple color. I'm gonna go ahead and take off the jacket so that you can see the kind of original. So it's white with this beautiful foiling, um, Asdian lore, a tale of the gods. Um, no one could kill a shadow. I really like the purple foiling in here. And we'll go ahead and show you. This is the reverse if you wanted to maybe look at that. So it's kind of a, the scene of a camp, which is in tatters and probably not doing very well. But that is kind of all we've got for Alcrit. Actually, there is one more thing. Sorry. Um, Oh, here's the other um, end thing. Um, let me go ahead and... So, subscribers get to kind of learn what the next um, theme is. So, here it is. Alcrate January Young Adult is enchanted to meet you. And we got a flip for a sneak peek. Every January box will include an exclusive item designed by Sayer Art. Um, so that is, that is beautiful bookmark actually. Um, and it looks kind of similar to something I got in their advent calendar. So I wonder if it's the same artist. 
but yeah let me know what you think in the comments below if you want me to keep doing this or if you want um maybe i can read the book and then give you all a kind of honest review of what i think of the book um as another idea um but yeah let me know let me know what you think down in the comments below um if you like this video feel free to hit that like button and if you want to see check out more videos feel free to go visit my channel and subscribe to get notifications when the next video is up we post every saturday and if you think somebody else would enjoy this feel free to share this video throughout all corners of the internet and with that um that's red's corner signing out bye